Well, the new case is happening as legislative leaders in Michigan and five other Midwest states are urging the Big Ten to reconsider postponing the football season. House Speaker Lee Chatfield and Senate Majority Leader Mike Shirky are among those asking Big Ten Commissioner Kevin Warren to work with university leadership to reinstate the season. Ultimately, Big Ten University presidents and chancellors have the power to decide whether or not to play. Joining us on tonight's 7 Upfront segment is Jim Brandstetter, the voice of the Wolverines, Michigan, University of Michigan Wolverines. Uh, Jim, you've been pretty outspoken as far as uh, postponing the season while other schools around the country are starting to play. Why do you feel that way? Well, it doesn't make sense. We're not playing it. Just last night I watched Navy play BYU. Um, I, I don't, I, it's hard for me to make the connection why it's okay for them, but it's not for us. It's not for the Big Ten. Uh, when you can explain that to me, uh, then, I'll, then I'll listen a little bit longer. But right now, Jim Harbaugh and Ward Manuel at Michigan have done a fabulous job of putting the guidelines in place and protocols in Ann Arbor. I think Jim said yesterday or Saturday that over a thousand tests, nearly a thousand tests have been done in Ann Arbor on their football staff and their football players. And uh, I don't think they've had a positive. Yeah. Uh, and yet they're still not allowed to play. Uh, you, said, that, you said if Michigan can't play, you said if Michigan can't play, nobody should play, but the NCAA well, doesn't control that. So how damaging in your mind will it be if the Big Ten does not play football this fall? I think it'll be terribly damaging. The Big Ten will take a gigantic hit. Um, here's the deal. If the ACC, the SEC, and the Big 12 play a full season and they don't have any spikes and nothing untoward happens to those conferences during their season, then the Big Ten, I think, is going to wind up with a gigantic egg sandwich on its face. And so will the Pac-12, to be quite frank. President Trump says the Big Ten should play. Ultimately, as we mentioned, it'll be university presidents that make that call. Do you think this legislative appeal to the Big Ten commissioner, though, might help push this forward and create some momentum for a return to the field? I think it's a great start, and I think it's a great way to put some pressure on the Big Ten. But the reality of life is, and you said it, Davey Lou, it's the presidents and the chancellors that pulled the plug on the season. Not the coaches, not the players, not Kevin Warren. It was the chancellors and the presidents. And until they decide, in the Big Ten Conference anyway, that they're going to allow their teams to play, then they're not going to play. Yeah. And that's ultimately the guy that makes the decision. Yeah, leadership at U of M and MSU, infectious disease doctors. So um, we'll see. It's going to be very, very telling here, I think, in the days and weeks to come. Clearly, Labor Day, you should have had football. You're sitting this one out. It's strange, and I'm sure it doesn't feel good for you at all. It does not. Uh, for the first time in nearly 60 years, Dave, I haven't been wearing a uniform or reporting on a game or calling a game uh, in some stadium somewhere around the country. And that's hard for me to take. Uh, it's, just, it's just a right of, you know, like baseball is a right of spring. Football, college football particularly, is a right of fall. And I participate in it. I love it. It's uh, part of my life, a major part of my life. And, and I don't, I, it's frustrating when you watch television, you see Army and Navy playing football, but the University of Michigan can't based on a decision made by the presidents and chancellors of the conference. Well, we've got a little bit of time. We'll see if they uh, reverse field. Uh, Jimmy, we appreciate uh, the time. Jim Brandsetter joining us on the Upfront segment tonight. Always nice to see you, my friend. You too, David. Take good care and uh, stay well. We'll do it. You do the same. Thanks.